What's up guys, it's the Average Sim and welcome back to another video. In this video I will be showing you two different card designs that will work for almost any occasion. So for the first one, we're going to be doing sort of a nighttime scene using these three different color oil pastels. If you're wondering what these colors are, they look like this right here. So this one is right here. This one is right here, and this one is right here. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, the first thing that you want to do is take painter's tape and basically cover all of the edges so you have a white border. So, you want to measure it out and then tear a piece off. And then put it about a quarter of an inch from the top, like this. Okay, so then you want to go ahead and do that to all four sides. Okay, so now that we have that done, we can start with the actual drawing. Alright, so you want to take your lightest color, which is this blue one right here, and then you want to make sort of a circle about right there. And then you want to fill it in, sort of pressing down, you don't have to press down too hard, you don't have to make it such a solid color, sort of just like scribble marks. Just like that. The next thing you want to do is take your second darkest color and then go around that. Okay, the next thing that you want to do is take your darkest color right here and then fill in the rest of the white space around it. You don't have to make a perfect straight line right on the edge of the painter's tape because that will be filled in when we blend this all together. Okay, so the next step is to blend all of this. So we can set our oil pastels aside and bring in our blending tool or paper towel. So you want to fold it up pretty tight so you have a nice tight corner right there. And then you want to work your way from the middle out making small circles like this. And you want to make sure to press down a little bit. So once you get to the outer sides towards the edges, you can start blending straight down and over to the sides. Make 
make sure to fill in as much white space as you can. Okay, so once you have that, go ahead, look at any smaller spots that are still sort of white and just rub the paper towel right over them and it'll fill them right in. Alright, so then the next thing you want to do is take a pencil and draw out and sort of a fancy font on top of it, any name or anything that you want. So, in this case, there's... I'm just, for an example, I'm just going to write name. So you kind of want to make like a curved line for an A and sort of like go up, come back down, and then go back up and sort of make another curved line like that, right there. So the next thing you want to do to make an A is go down just like this and then make the little curved line at the end. For the M, I'm going to make this curved line and make it sort of italicized. Go in and like that, make another curved line on the other side. For the E, it's going to look sort of like a normal E, except with that little curve right at the end. There, like that. So then what you want to do just go over that with a correction pen. So, when you're tracing these, you want to make sure to not push down all the way with the corrections pen, correction pens because a lot of the ink inside will come out. So, a thing that I like to do is sort of put a lot there and then spread it down without pushing down on the thing. So, it sort of allows you to maneuver it like that. So for the E, same sort of thing, just pushing down and then spreading. Alright, if you want, you can underline it. I'll just go like that. And then... do it like that. So, there's our first card design. So, the next part I feel is the most satisfying part. So, you want to take the piece of tape that you put on last, or, yeah, take the piece that you put on last and peel it off at about a 90 degree angle. Alright, so there's one side. Then pull off the piece that you put second to last at, again, a 90 degree angle. Alright. Third to last. And finally the first one that you put on. And then you want to make sure to hold down the paper when you do this because the tape will lift it up. So there's the front of your first card. As you can see, that's what it looks like up close. You got setting in the background. Then you can open it up and write whatever you want. So let's get right on to the next one.
Alright guys, so for number two, I decided to put it in time lapse because I did not want to bore you through another 16 minutes of me teaching you the exact same thing. So let's get right into it. Here's what it looks like up close. Um, I will not write anything in it this time, but you know that you can write anything you want in here. These will work for any occasion. Everybody loves them. Trust me, I've given these to multiple people, and they all love them. So, yeah, comment down below which one you think looked better out of these two right here comment down below which one you think looks better don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to get an update every time i post a new video don't forget always stay above average